I can't punch him for next week, but this has got a compression damage in my wrist. So as soon as... Yeah, Phil Collins on Radio City Talk, 8.39, boxers are up next, uh, we have got Sean Lasher, Don, Tony the Warrior Dodson, Steve Brogan as well, so three of them to control today, Battle of the Mersey is always coming up as well. Radio City Talk. Brogan! Introducing the winner. From Liverpool, Tony the Warrior Dodson. Oh yeah, Thursday morning comes around quickly. 8:44, Radio City talk. We got the Warrior. We got Masher. Morning, gents. Good morning, Steve, morning, Steve. and everyone. Warrior with his uh, his man bag on today. He's sporting yeah. some sort of. Um, Oh, can you not hear properly? Oh, there we go. Sorry, and we've got another guest, Steve Brogan That's as it. well. Morning, Steve. Morning, mate. You okay? Um, well, yeah, I've been out of order there, leaving them out, Steve. I know, yeah. No, I was going to introduce them separately. I was going to introduce them separately. You should come in with the boys. I was just going to rip you yeah, to pieces yeah. for your man bag first. It's a satchel. It's a satchel, is it? No, he's going to be sitting in the corner. 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 Uh, give us a little bit of his background nice and how you like. know him. So go on, uh, sing I, his praises. I, I've known Steve from um, from day one in the amateurs. Um, he, he, well, he beat me in the amateurs. <laughs> I've got to give me a boxing lesson, but yeah. he, he taught. I learned a lot from the fight in the amateurs. Uh, he was he was a bit more experienced at the time, Steve, and. Mm. Uh, so it was a credit to share the ring with him because I used to watch him and Tom Farrell and the lads and stuff and think, oh, you know, imagine one day being as good as them. Then I shared the ring with him and spat in, in, in an amateur fight, but it weren't. As, uh, it was a last minute fight, wasn't it, to, yeah, to, yeah. to, to save a charity do for, for Clare House. Mm. So we absolutely had a barnstormer. We brought the house down to me, mate. There was originally eight or ten fights on the bill. They all fell through. There was only three. There was a kid on, Ray Boyer on. He stopped his lad in the first round, so me and Steve then had to live up to expectations, and and we 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 did. It was an absolutely amazing fight. Yeah, did you spark him, Steve? He nearly did in the second round. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't like to say, but yeah, it was a good, uh, it was good, a good fight. Yeah. 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 yeah, it was a humdinger. It was a humdinger. Yeah. Yeah. Are you sort of the older gentleman? No, no, I'm saying he's having a pop at our bald heads. That's what he does. He looks young, but actually, I've done a little bit of research on him. Yeah, you are a little bit older, aren't you? Oh, a little bit older, yeah. I'd say experience than 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 age. Yeah, that's right. Maturity. Did you come later to the game? I did. Yeah, I started when I was when I was 22, fighting. When I started boxing when I was 22, and then I just just got into the gym. I'm being honest. Get a grip, you don't. Yeah, get a grip. You get into the gym, and you just. You just progress, do you know what I mean? And, yeah, and here I am now. You, you've never been in the ring before you were 22? No, no. Really? What, what age did you start, Tom? Six. <laughs> <laughs> Can't you no. tell? Is it the dodo? Uh, yeah, it's the dodo. <laughs> is, it, is there a difference, do you think, between that? You, you know, those really? sort of 15 like, years look that you Look at Joshua. Annie Joshua didn't... Yeah, because Tony's only 24 was... now, look. <laughs> Twenty-one. <laughs> the next bit. Yeah, I'm Peter Pan. Remember that? I, I would have liked to have started when I was a bit younger. Do you know what right. I mean? I would probably would have progressed a bit more and done a lot more. But, but, but one, one of the plus sides and not sides of it is because look, your body's only got a, a, a like an expiry date on it. You can only put your body through so much. Yeah. So all them years that you're in the gym and wearing and tear, it does affect your body and how you perform. I mean, look at Derry do the night. I mean, look. Credit to the sport, fantastic ambassador for boxing in Liverpool. But it just comes to that point where he just couldn't do it as good as he has before, and that's what happens with your body. You can only put it through so much before it says, No, look, can't do it no more. No, definitely. And when you start younger as well, when you're a junior, it's different to going into a senior level, isn't it? As yeah. we know, you, you start as a junior, and as soon as you're going to senior, the power. I didn't have a senior fight. The, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, that, that's not that, a senior fight. The senior is a lot harder because the, you know, the power's there with the punches. It, it's more about like the, the, the willpower in yourself to go in and I must admit, that, yeah. when yeah. I went from a junior to, to a professional, the, the difference in power and strength in the men, you could oh, feel yeah. like, you know, like, that's mm. where I went. I went from fighting kids, well, my own age obviously, which which were kids at 18 years of age, to full-blown, hairy backsided men. I, I think <laughs> that's what, what, what my advantage was when I started, I didn't start till late, and um, when I went into the amateurs, I had obviously man strength and boxing a lot of these lads, they were young kids, 
talented and fit. I have to remind myself but, there that I'm on the radio and I can't, you know, say bad things. Get at me. I'll tell you in a but, minute. But um, I think it was my strength and, and, the, and the power that, that, you know, obviously helped me win a lot of the fights. Is it anything, you know, when you're young and you don't have those inhibitions either? What does inhibitions mean? Perhaps when you start at 22, yeah. you're a little bit more aware of oh, uh, the yeah. dangers that you face. Yeah. You know, like, when inhibitions when you would be the worries. When, worry. when you start at 22, you Insecurities go, you go would in. have been a better way. Well, there you go, yeah. You go in wanting to box. And like when you go in as a junior, it's usually your dad or whoever's pushing you into the gym. Mm. And like, you, you know, I went because I wanted, to, I wanted to do it. I loved the sport all the way through. I did want to go, but obviously... As a kid, you're doing different things in the woods and all yeah, that. Yeah, he's right. But, but like, when, when I got to like 22, I thought to myself, "Listen, I, I want to go in the gym. I, I've got into the gym. I used to go. I used to train like weights and stuff. But I went into the gym and I went there about 11 and a half stone. And like John Allen, my coach, my first coach, he said to me, "You'd have to get down to 10 stone." And I just done it within like a four, five week period. Because you're not very tall, are you? No, that's it. Yeah, but I was quite. I, I was quite chunky. shapey. Yeah, I was, I was quite yeah. shapey, should I say? Yeah. Never, never been chunky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was shapey. Yeah. No, I used to, I used to do the, the, the gym a lot. You know what I mean? Before you go to the gym, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't you? Yeah. 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 In your time. Um, got caves. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Bit to the bone. <laughs> yeah. You know what? It's mad as a fighter, though. When you're fighting. If, if it comes to way and week and you rip, rip just yeah. mentally it makes you feel so much better. Yeah. I know it doesn't mean nothing because he's look at Bomber the other day. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Bomber the other day he absolutely smashed it and he's the first man to say, look, I'm not physique wise, I'm not that. Well, good. I will 99% of the people and Joey <laughs> Bomber is just a he's just a, he's a one off. Freak of nature. <laughs> yes, he is. Yeah. Isn't it funny how he highlighted that though, didn't he? Before yeah. the fight, he very much said, I'm the, I'm the the fatty, I'm the one that doesn't look like just a proper made it look boxer. better when he done it. Didn't yeah. it, didn't it, just? We've always sparred day one and every time we come back to spa again he's always he's always different he's always better he's, he's brought something else to the table so then you've got to then make sure that you're yeah, constantly yeah. thinking about what have you got to bring that new to the table and we're constantly bringing each other on Definitely constantly we're, 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 we're like we're like this all the time and for me and him are, are, are we mean perfect know, for each could, other we are you could watch me and him spa and I'd be like oh my god for me and them to fight each other in the future, we would sell out oh, and we would make yeah, an absolute definitely. fight. Twelve, and we'll be, we'll, we'll be best mates still be, as well. Yeah, it'll be fine afterwards. Yeah. So, so your burger yeah. head's most famous export at the moment, and, and your Skem's most famous export. I'd like if, to think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Skem's only a small place, but yeah, I'd like to think small so. Small place with a thousand rounds. Steve, right, exactly. Steve yeah. Rogan is knocking on the door, believe me. He's knocking on the door, yeah. and, and before you know it, he's going to come bursting through that door, and he's going to be on the scene. When he gets his opportunity, He'd be ready to take him. Right, so a quick, a quick one. Fl Floyd around. Mayweather was in uh, town the other day. Did, did you boys go and see him or not? No. no. So, I, I was so, with him. <laughs> so Dave Downey, our producer, went down to see him. And so afterwards, he thought he was getting an interview with him. Um, and he tried to take a picture of Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> and Floyd's bodyguards, you know, the big six foot nine, yeah, yeah. came over and said to Dave Downey, Give us your phone. So what did Dave Downey went, You're not having my phone. Because you've seen the size of Dave, haven't you, yeah, as well? Can you imagine the standoff <laughs> there? Did they do? Floyd had to step in. Floyd said, no, it's fine. But apparently the upset was he took a picture of Floyd without all his medallions on. Ah. And his bodyguards got a little bit upset about this. Can Actually, you imagine getting to this stage, you two? I know. Would that be off. Off. Like, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 off. I'd have said to him, try and take me phone from me, go ahead. You big daft bleep. Yeah. <laughs> calm down, Tom, oh, calm down. Love it. Right, calm back down. on the Mersey on the way. Uh, 8.57, Radio City Talk. Are you feeling brainy today? You I've got Steve to... helping me out today. Haven't no, I? Help. no help. No <laughs> help. Yeah, so you, you don't get need help. help. Get help. Have you, you seen the answer today? Hey, you've, you've, already, you've already got your sis. You can't have two of them in the room helping Yes, we can. Yes, uh, we okay, can. news and sport next in Battle of the Mercy. Yeah. Tony the handbag godson. <laughs> 11 minutes past. The, the man bag, I feel, not I the feel handbag. Like the man bag. <laughs> Tony the satchel dodson. Dodson? Dodson. Right, okay. Now I think really? Steve's looking a bit bemused by all this, so uh, Steve Rose is also with us this morning. Uh, Steve, uh, this is a quiz between Birkenhead and uh, Garston. And so far we have uh, Dodd. Why, 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 why did you say Birkenhead and Liverpool? 
doesn't have to be Garston. Like Garston's an alien place. You're representing it's Garston. L19 <laughs> postcode. It's Liverpool. No, you're you can do just, my postcode if you I'm want. I'm more Liverpool than you, right? Whatever. So you're Garston. <laughs> Whatever, lad. <laughs> so am I helping mash it then? Yes, yeah. you know. <laughs> you so I tried to put it on, so. I'm right, okay. scam, lad. Yeah. You, you can help L, out. It's L postcode, though. Scam. He's, he's in bacon head more than anyone, mate. Trust do, me. Do, more than me. Do you know what I mean? Do you know? Do you know? <laughs> Steve, wherever you see fit to help, yeah, go please on, do. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. don't take sides. Tony feels that everyone sort of gangs up against him. Uh, who won last time? Who is it for Mugs Away? Mugs Away from last year. Mugs Away, come me, on then. Me and Steve. Say it nice and proper. What do you mean? You, it's you? Just you? Me and Steve. <laughs> All right, <laughs> nice. let's get going. Here you go. Question one. Uh, this is to Sean Masher Dodd. Right, who does uh, Gennady Golovkin fight at Madison Square Garden this weekend? Who does Gennady Golovkin fight at this Madison weekend. Square Garden? Uh, this Jake, weekend. Jacobs, Jacobs, Danny, Danny Jacobs, Danny Jacobs. Hey, we're on it, we're on it, we're on it. Watching that one, yeah. Two against one, are you messing here? Kushti. <laughs> <laughs> does that mean you're on Masha's side there, Steve? Yes, yeah, Steve, lad. <laughs> Yeah. Do you want, you want, you want him to help you? Yeah. Now, you're, now you're helping me as well, then. Give the wrong answers. Right, here we go. Uh, first question to... Um, got these right? Yeah, here we go. Here's first question to Dalton. Which British Olympian will make his professional debut on the Anthony Crawler undercard next week? I know. Which British Olympian... <laughs> <makes his laughs> okay, but, but, but when you say British, whereabouts? Be specific. It's British. What, you mean like scam or something? No, to be specific, <laughs> is he from England, Scotland, yeah, well, Wales, yeah. from London? Um, Does that help you? Which British Olympian makes his pro debut on the Anthony Crawler under card next week? You haven't got anything. Do you want to have a guess? Is it Cordina? Do you want to have a guess? Cordina? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, mate. I know, no, I, I know who it is. Come on, then. It's the big tall fella, the heavyweight. Well, tell me what his name is. Um, oh, Boat? No, it's not Boatsy. It's, it's, it's not. Can I give you three seconds? One, uh, two. D Dylan. Dylan. Someone of Arabia. Uh, Someone of Arabia. Lawrence. Lawrence. Uh, Lawrence Fishbone. <laughs> <laughs> He's in the Matrix. <laughs> yeah. No, you're wrong. Um, that's wrong. Let's but it is on. him, though, isn't it? You did, did you get Daniel Jacobs? You did. Yes. Okay, no, but no, Steve got Second Daniel question. Jacobs. We no, got him. Yeah. We got him. That's out. That's out. We've got a mystery voice. Mystery voice now. This is for. Um, Masha. Masha. Let's have a look at this. Who who is this? Do it think? again. Okay. Well, David Beckham. Yeah. Yeah. Defo. Yeah, yeah. Dan Beck's now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beck gonna be me. Why are you answering <laughs> that for him? You absolute <laughs> lunatic. It was him you did yeah. the oh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> dear, oh, uh, it's, it's two on one. Who told you? Who told I told you I was getting <laughs> stitched up. <laughs> you've, been, you've been properly stitched up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heads together, oh, yeah, yeah. But, uh, you, you've got a mystery voice now. Look at him, look. I, see, down, don't I think Steve over Brogan's the, got three questions right so far. Over the water yeah. and over the roundabouts, isn't it? That's yes, what we're all about. Yeah. Right, here we go. And under the hill. George Clooney. George Clooney? Yeah. Nice, cat one. Oh, hard. <laughs> hey, look at him. Hey. Not <laughs> hard. Not, not hard. <laughs> He's not happy. By the way, that's him, Steve. Then a bang bang. That's Sean. That's his voice. Bang bang, yeah. voice. Should be with a boom boom. Should listen. Right. Yes. <laughs> Two one. Yeah. Fin final question. You, if you get this right, you, you've won this week. Which singer has nine? Don't get involved in this question. No, you're not allowed to. You're not allowed to. You're not allowed to pipe in here, Steve. Come on. Which singer has nine of the current top ten chart hits? Boy or girl? I'm not going to tell you that. Ed Sheeran. Good stuff, lad. That's yeah. a little V. I was going to say that. Is it? Is it? Is it? It's got to be, on it? Yeah! It's nice. Matty, it's <laughs> weird next week, lad. You better give me a fair... The tune goes Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Love it. You <laughs> like me winning because his tune's ah. terrible. <laughs> yes. Hush, hush, hush. Steve Brogan, what do you think of this ring music? Pathetic. Don't it's even good, Steve. It's, it's what he likes, isn't it? It suits me, doesn't it, mate? No, yeah. what's, what's, what's your like honest it? opinion of it? 
old school. Yeah, it's old, yeah, it's old school. school. Do you know what? <laughs> funny you said that. Funny you said that because last night I'd done some old school training and my coach said to me, Todd, and said, This is proper old school, this. Yeah. And I said, I read the status and went, I love the old school ways and, and I see myself that way anyway. And then he just said, it's old it's school. school. It's old school. I'm old school. He was just referring to the music. I'm old school in the day, in the now. I like the way you went from old school to old school. <laughs> old school, old school. <laughs> Modern school. All oh, right, on behalf of Birkenhead. Right, Birkenhead are in front. Yay. We'll have to wait until next week to hear you.